Well, it's not just the uh, the people that are living on as dead chip heads. Uh, the drones, the, the parasited hosts, they come back like that too. And uh, when they're drones, they're they're pretty sick. They they have no compassion for anything. They're so. So they, what's the what's the difference it. again then between a, a duplicate like clone and then a drone? Well, what's the difference there? Okay, a duplicate clone is a uh, a person in the clone, like a human being in the clone running it. Um, a drone is a parasited host of this lizard who is a lizard consciousness in a human. There is no reversing the process. The person dies. It's, the lizard totally dominates. And uh, it's bad, man. It's bad. Um, well, and later on, uh, Donnie, I wanted to do some, some name association with you later on towards the interview, and I wanted you to tell me, um, you know, parasite or... Or, uh, or or drone, um, but you know this this may come as a surprise. To you. I'm sure a lot of people you know you know uh, have attacked you, and I uh, and I know that you also have a large following. But you know, ever since I met you, ever since I talked to you on Facebook, I've I have researched some of the technology that I have heard you talk about, and uh, maybe this won't surprise you, but I think it'll surpri surprise a lot of the listeners. Um, but there are some there are some men out there that I that I have researched, namely Ray Kurzweil, and another man named Dr. Michoa Kaku, and, and everybody can look these guys up on YouTube. Um, but Kurzweil has uh, has made it absolutely known that his goal is immortality, and he has spoken about merging man and machine and uh, microchip implantations, like you said into the brains oh, yeah. and downloading the brains and vice versa. And uh, one thing that I heard uh, Dr. Kaku talk about, and he's a, the he, you know, he's a theoretical quantum physicist, um, in addition to so many things that will just blow your mind, contact lenses that you can you know, blink and go to an Internet page and things like that, is he talked about shape-shifting. And, I, and you had just mentioned shape-shifting, but this is what he said about it, and I want to know if you knew anything about it. He said that uh, shape-shifting uh, is not what we think it is, where, where people just, you know, melt onto the floor like in Terminator and come back as something else. But he said that it is being worked on, and this, this guy is world-renowned. This, is, this stuff is not classified, everybody. This is declassified information. Yep. Um, that it, that shape-shifting will be programmable matter, rearranged matter. And what they're doing is, is they're mixing atoms and, uh, and, and microchips or placing microchips on atoms and these microchips are all very very small obviously to go on an atom but they're yep. as powerful as our PC computers now what got me is the company that's developing this is Intel the same people that put the processors in what, what do you know is there any connection between Intel and the Vril do they have uh, parasites or drones working for them or is, is this a, why? Why are they trying to make this technology public, or are they? Or is this just plain human beings trying to work towards it? What, well, what's your a, view on that? There's a lot of facets to the diamond, and well, it's not really a diamond. <laughs> um, the thing is, okay. Long story made short. Hitler was shown underground by Vril. Uh, they led him to an abandoned Atlantean base. The Vril did not know how to uh, to work the machines or like invent anything. They got claws and stuff. They're stupid creatures. Um, Atlanteans used to use them to drone other nations. <clears throat> they were droners. Um, Hitler got a hold of all the technology, started back engineering it, but he didn't get fast enough. And uh, the Americans and the Russians took it for with uh, Project Paperclip, and they took oh, all the yeah. Yeah, took all the stuff and sort of back engineering saucers and everything. The Roswell crash was a man-made saucer. Um, see, the Russians and the Americans each got different bits and pieces of technology from Hitler. Uh, the Americans got the saucer stuff. Now, they didn't want, uh, and the saucers, without gyros in them, like in the Segway scooters they have today, without the gyros in them, they're unstable big time. They, were, they skipped across everywhere and they could crash real easy. Now, the Americans didn't want one of these experimental saucers to go crashing in, into some town and get photographed. And then the Russians would, because it was Cold War time then, the Russians would have uh, known they were working on experimental aircraft 
and with a uh, heightened tensions. So they put uh, some right. squiggly lines on it, some couple alien symbols. The thing was just made out of mylar anyway. They said we didn't have mylar back then, but they actually did. They, you know, all the technologies they they have them way long time before they they say that they had they have them. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that. They got all kinds of technology. They, they might even got the, the cloning technology from uh, this Atlantean base. It was in Antarctica. See, Hitler sent a... Uh, he heard that there was magic or secrets in Tibet. So he sent a uh, an expedition that cost like billions of dollars in today's money. A bunch of Nazis over there to Tibet to talk to these monks about where uh, where's this magic. Well, the Tibetan monks were hiding Vril. They worship Vril. Or they, at least they used to. Um, I keep them secret. He's peaceful. Is that the Dragon people. Society that I've heard of before? Where um, it, it, I believe I heard the legend where Hitler um, kidnapped them, and um, what they what what he claimed they could do, or Heinrich Himmler rather, also it, it was the was the man in charge of the, of the kidnapping. Um, is that they could cause a flower to germinate and bloom within 20 minutes? Is that are that is those the same people that you're talking about? I'm yeah, not I believe sure. they were called the Dragon Society. Well, some of these things, Brotherhood of the Snake, Dragon Society and stuff, it's all about lizards. Um, little dragons, those are the, the real type ones. There's three types. The third type is uh, like seven, they get up to seven and eight feet tall. They're the long neck, gray looking things that uh, that Phil Schneider guy was talking about. They killed him because uh -huh. he, he went on... <laughs> he went on blast telling everybody about them, and uh, nobody believed him. Well, a lot of people did, but it's too late because they killed him. Um, hey, Donnie, yeah. on that too, when you're, when you're mentioning uh, naming names and where these, uh, you know, talking about Tibet and so forth, uh, how this started back in the 30s, 40s, and so forth, uh, different different sites, different locations. Uh, I know that <clears throat> from from reading some of the stuff that you had alluded to before, like on Facebook and that uh, site that Celine provided, um, yep. that one of those you think is in Canada and perhaps within four or five hours of the famous or infamous Picton Pig Farm. Yep. And the reason I bring that up is uh, people who are not aware of the Picton Pig Farm, you know, a guy was a, a basically, uh, um, you know, pled guilty to and then alluded to uh, killing a bunch of people, a bunch of women. And I thought you had mentioned before that they would take some of the, they would record some of those killings, take them to the cloning center. So when we're talking about like these cloning centers, um, so far I think our listeners might not understand what you've personally seen and been through as far as kind of the grotesque nature. It's not just for human cloning for, for benefit. Um, there's some sort of evil... Uh, entertainment. Thing happening in, yeah, in entertainment, people entertainment going on. Yeah. So, so where, where are these centers that you know of, and, well, and who's behind it? Okay, well, the Dulce base has an entire floor devoted to cloning. Uh, in Area 51, the underground, they have an entire floor devoted to cloning. A lot of the deep bases, they have an entire floor devoted to cloning. An entire floor devoted to gene splicing. There's the Montauk place. They make all kinds of monsters and stuff for military weapons and for scientific exploration of, like, different enzymes they might have in them. Um, let's see, the Picton stuff. That was government known. Okay, let me tell you, Queen Elizabeth does not like prostitutes for some reason. Uh, they wanted to make something called, these things called snuff films. They're murder videos. And this is also the reason why Britney Spears went loopy. Because she watched too many murder videos and seen too many lizards eat too many kids at this place. And when you say Britney Spears, you mean in her, uh, like when she was in REM sleep, kind of taken as a clone to witness yep. this, correct? Yep. You see, uh, okay. Brittany's been there since she was a teen, or even, even younger. And, uh, you know, if she wanted to be famous or promoted, she would have to go there during R.E.M. And she's an assembly line sex slave, basically. Doesn't want it to be known, but she does want out of there. I mean, I'm not going to give details of the disgusting things that I've seen about specific people, but, like, uh, that's their business. But, like, uh, stuff that's been done to me... And, I'll talk all kinds about that, or if I've seen them hurting other people there, or whatever, I'll talk about that. But they want me to not discuss their uh, their 
big fur balls they get into there. Anyway, the Picton stuff, they videotaped them all. There was a video camera in the top corner of the room. He used to smash the hookers in the head with a ball peen hammer. Now, the the way that I know that the cloning station is close to the Picton farm by about five hours is they would wait. He would get a hooker to this place, his pig farm there, bring them in, smash them in the head, and feed them to the pigs. Well, he would videotape it, and someone would go to his place in a car, get the video right away because they were sought after. These scumbags just sit there and watch them and laugh. Um, it would take five hours to drive from the Picton Farm to the cloning center, which I assume, well, the only above-ground one that I've ever seen, uh, besides one in China, um, that it would take five hours to get there, and he would come running in, and they would put it on screen. Elizabeth used to make me watch every single one. She said it would strengthen my mind. But uh, when you say Elizabeth, you're, you're referring to Queen Elizabeth. Yep, Queen Elizabeth, yeah. one of the most evil people in the entire world. She I owned, agree with that. You know, she owns or no cloning, she's evil. Yes. Yeah. She owns the cloning station that I'm forced to attend, and uh, the royalties are there. All the biggest stars are there because they don't like going to dull space or any of these underground bases because they smell like sterile hospital down there. But the above ground one in Canada is airy, it's above ground, and uh, only the most... We're uh, at in Canada, Donnie. Where's this cloning station at in Canada? It is somewhere in the west co or west or western Canada because, well, it's within five-hour radius around the Picton Farm, and then I looked at it, and I said, wait a minute, there's like uh, nature preserves out there where you're not allowed to trespass, right? And uh, right, different right. military stuff, you, you know, enter and you may be shot type of thing. And uh, it's in one of these places because I was outside of this above ground one before. There is nothing around it. There's all trees, one overgrown, overgrown dirt road leading to it. There's no sign of civilization on the horizon, nothing, not smoke on the horizon or anything. And uh, some of the people don't understand how I would have ended up there or why they would have told me so much. So just let me tell you about that real quick.